Hello. In this video we will introduce a new component with the 2021.4 software release of Typhoon Hill Control Center that lets you communicate with your model using the KNFD protocol. Controller Area Network Flexible Data Rate, known as KNFD, is a data communication protocol typically used in modern high-performance vehicles and many other industry applications. Its main purpose is for broadcasting sensor data and control information on two-wire interconnections between different parts of electrical instruments or control systems. It was developed to meet both the need to increase the data transfer rate to up to five times faster than what the standard CAN bus protocol provides, and to support larger message frame sizes. CANFD is an extension to the original CAN bus protocol, so they have a similar configuration in Typhoon Hill Schematic Editor. Currently. Only Hill 606 devices support KNFD protocol. This Hill device has two separate KNFD controllers, with separate connectors. These two controllers, named as KN1 and KN2, can be connected to the KNFD network through a standard 9-pin D subtype mail connector. In this short tutorial we will show how to configure and implement this protocol on the Hill device with a simple KNFD loopback example. The purpose is to show how to set up KNFD controllers and how to send and receive KNFD messages. In order to make this example work, we need to have a connection between KIN controllers 1 and 2 of the Hill device, since it is configured as a loopback. You can access this example, called KNFD Setup in our Examples Explorer as shown here. Let's open it now. The first component of this example is the KNFD Setup. By opening its component properties, we can set the KNFD controller's baud rates and the application execution rate for each controller, for every Hill device used in the model. For this example, we will keep the lowest baud rate for testing purposes. Now we will set up the sending and receiving of messages. For this we need to set up the KNFD send and KNFD receive blocks. The KNFD send component is used to form one KNFD message which is sent through a KNFD network. Let's open the properties of this component and check the possible configurations. With this component you can specify on what controller to send the message in the CAN controller field. You can also specify the identifier type, value, the transmit type, and the desired message content. It is possible to specify the message from the dialog box or import a DBC file which contains all the messages and settings. Multiple CAN FD send components can exist in a model. For this example, the message is created so that it is sent periodically through the first CAN controller with an 11-bit identifier of value 1000. The message payload is a 16-bit unsigned integer value that is sampled through the signal 0 port. These messages can be changed from SCADA inputs in the SCADA panel during simulation. The CANFD receive component is used to receive and parse one CANFD message from a CANFD network. Let's open the properties of this component and check the possible configurations. Similar to the send component, you can specify on what controller to receive the message, define the identifier type and value, and define how to parse the message content. Multiple KNFD receive components can exist in a model. In this example, the receive side is configured to receive a message with the 11-bit identifier of value 1000 on the second CAN controller. Once a message is received, it is parsed as a 16-bit unsigned integer value which is available through port signal 0. With probes, we can check if the correct value is received in the SCADA. Now we can compile the model and load it to Hill SCADA. In SCADA, we have a simple panel where it is possible to set the variable value to send and check if it is received correctly in the digital display, as shown here. In this video we showed the newly supported KNFD protocol on the Hill 606 device, and how to set up a KNFD connection using components and schematic editor. Thank you for watching.